Okay, welcome. Today we will see uh, biology grade 10 unit 4 food making and the growth in plants tutorial part 3. Okay, don't forget uh, liking uh, subscribing to my channel, uh, also called the sensitive. Our, uh, in our tutorial part 3 today, we will see under unit, uh, unit 4 uh, for the making and uh, growth implants. Uh, from this, we will see uh, 4.3 about transport in implants. Four point three transport implants. The main transport system implants are osmosis, diffusion, and active transport. Osmosis makes plant rigid and firm by movement of water into the cell. Plants take up water by root hairs or hair-like extensions. Root hairs increase surface area for osmosis to take place. Active transports use plants to absorb mineral ions against concentration gradient, means it needs energy. Transport system implants. Plants have two separate double transport system. These are phloem and xylem tissue. Phloem made up of living tissue it transport organic material made by photosynthesis it uses energy to move substance means by active transport food substance move both up and down of the plants phloem cells are thin weld and contain liquid rich food Film found in a woody plant in a ring next to bark. Whereas xylem tissue is made up of dyed cell or dyed tissue, it transports water and mineral ions. No active transport takes place in xylem tissue. It is a passive transport. Why there is no active transport, no need of energy from the plants. Movement of water in xylem is due to transpiration pool. Water and minerals transports upward of the plants. Ringing experiments is to find out whether xylem or phloem tissue are involved in transport of food material. Removing a ring from a woody branch will result in removal of the phloem tissue. So removing ring is removing phloem. The swelling above the ring where the film is removed will be of sugar in the region above the ring. We can see from this uh, picture the region where bark is or ring is removed. Then when we look at the end picture, there is swelling above the ring that is removed, that is the swelled parts have a sugar. The need of transport to transport sugar made in the leaf around the plants. Plant store glucose in a form of starch, and also plant deposit starch in a root tuber, stem, fruit, and leaves. Transport it also to, to transport water and mineral from the root to the leaf. The mineral is needed to make protein and other molecules for the plants. Plants need water for sterilization that is transported. One is to maintain 
called the bladder in cell that keep cell functioning and plant uprights. And also water is needed as raw material for photosynthesis to make glucose as a source of hydrogen. And also water is needed to transport minerals and food etc around the plants. Moving water through the xylem tissue, transpiration stream, a constant moving water through xylem from reed to leaves. Transpiration, evaporation of water from the leaves through the stomata. Water enters the roots here of the plant by osmosis to xylem tissue. So, uh, look at this picture. Transpiration, evaporation of uh, water from the leaf uh, when transpiration stream is the movement of water through the plants. The factors which move uh, water upward through the xylem tissue are 1. Root pressure is the pressure pushing water upwards. The other is adhesive force is a force of attraction between water molecules and the xylem tube. The other cohesive force is the strong attraction force between water molecules through xylem tube. The other is constant evaporation of water from the leaves. The main pool means transpiration pool which moves water upward from the roots. Capillarity of water refers to the rise of water in a tube. These are the all factors that move water upwards through the xylem tissue. Factor affect uh, in the rate of transpiration the main factor which affect the rate of transpirations are one humidity rate of transpiration decrease in humid air also the other is light intensity rate of transpiration is very high during daytime the other is temperature transpiration faster on warm sunny day than cold and dry day wind or air movements transpiration faster in windy day windy day than still day to sum up transpiration is more rapid in hot dry and windy than humid cold and dry day review questions page 169 which of the following condition will not increase the rate of transpiration in the plant. A. High humidity in the air. B. Windy condition. C. High temperature. D. High light levels. The answer should be A. High humidity in the air. Question number two. Water moves out of the plant leaves through A. Epidermis B. Mesophily C. Stomata D. Chloroplast So the answer should be Stomata Water vapor move out from through Stomata Question number 3 Cobalt to absorb theocyanates changes color in presence of water Does it go from A. Pink to blue B blue to pink, C blue to yellow, D pink to white. The answer should be pink blue to pink. B. Question number four. Explain why constant supply of food, uh, B A food, B water, is so important to the cell of the plants. Answer A. Food is needed for cellular respiration to provide energy for other reaction in the cell and to provide new materials for growth of the cell. 
as an energy store in the cell etc for water answer water is needed for the plant for photosynthesis to make glucose means as a raw material for glucose for giving hydrogen ion and also water is needed to maintain temperature pressure in the cell so keep cell functioning and plant applied and water also needed for transport minerals and the food etc around the plant and so on question number five what are the stomata what is their role in the plants and also describe exactly how water moves up the plant in transpiration stream for question a 5a what is stomata stomata are a pores found in the surface of the leaf mainly on lower surface what is the role this function mean it regulates the uptake of carbon dioxide from the air and the release oxygen to the air and also loses water from the plants C water is taken in plants through roots and moves by osmosis to xylem tissue the factors that move water upwards through the xylem tissue are 1 root pressure is the pressure pushing up World waters. Adhesive force is a force of attraction between water molecules and xylem too. The other is cohesive force is the strong is the strong attraction force between water molecules through xylem too. The other is transparent simple is a constant evaporation of water from the leaf which moves water up from the roots the other or the end factor is capillarity of water refers to the rise of water in the tube thank you uh, for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe share my channel so called Lisa and Steve uh, channel next uh, time we will see a uh, tutorial part 4 about response implants and results good time for you